17. Let us listen to the holy words of God. Find, uh, the armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after we have done everything, just stand, stand firm. Then, with the belt of the true buckle around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. May God bless the reading of his holy words. Let us bow down our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this wonderful uh, the uh, wonderful time to begin our Bible study once again. We praise thee, O God, for bringing us here tonight to continue our Bible study once again. Father, tonight as we come before you, we ask your Holy Spirit to be present with us uh, tonight. So uh, tonight, Lord, as we are about to observe your holy words, Father, we also pray for our resource person, Reverend Alfred, so that he may be able to conduct the Bible study according to your will. We also pray for the good connection uh, for tonight's session and also for all the participants who are with us through Zoom and uh, other devices. Be with them and bless them with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we also pray for the persons who are involved uh, in tonight's session and bless their performance. We also ask for your guidance throughout this night and our time yet to come again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And uh, so tonight's program will be like this. Our host, Brother Zil Sang Zela, is not able to attend this meeting. Our appointed host, Brother Zil Sang Zela, is not uh, able to attend this meeting due to some connectivity issues in his village. So I will, uh, I'm uh, in place of him tonight. So, and our leader will be Reverend Alfred Valui, State Secretary, UASI Manipur. And the passage for tonight's Bible study will be from First Thessalonians chapter one, verses one to ten. And there will be a special number from Sister C. L. Mangi from uh, from Government Zirtiri Residential Science College Unit. And a call and closing prayer will be from Sister Ramay Moi Pao Tu Lungle EGF. And so uh, our resource person for tonight. Uh, let us have a time for introduction. So we are very fortunate tonight that Reverend Alfred Valu is going to lead us into tonight's study of God words. He originally hails from Manipur, so he's married to Madame Ringmichon. He got born again on the 5th of October 1989 at an EU camp held in Shillong. His favorite uh, verse is his favorite verses from Romans chapter 10, 15, and his favorite song is a hymn composed by uh, John Newton called Amazing Grace. So Brother Alfred is uh, motivated by the life of missionaries. So his favorite book of biography of the greatest American missionaries to Burma, Adoniram Judson. It is called Storming the Golden Kingdom, written by John Waters. Our resource person tonight has been serving in the UESI ministry for over 27 years. I believe most of us tonight will be younger than his years of service in the USI ministry. So, <laughs> and also, he started out in USI ministry as an office assistant from 1993 to 1997. So, some of us may not be born at that time, even at that time. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, brother. Yeah. Yes. And, then the field staff from, uh, and also he became the field staff from 1998 till today. Uh, actually, I was born in 1998 to add that. Uh, <laughs> in, the, uh, in all these years, he served in this US uh, ministry. Uh, his main interest is counseling. So in his spiritual journey in the world, the Christian figures who influence him the most are Reverend Malstom of Van Chong and Dr. A.K. Lama. And Reverend Alfred is the man of action and motivation. He works very hard for the achievement of the 
um, he works very hard for the achievement of the kingdom of God. And he is also very good in bringing people together and organizing events. And also, uh, to add this, I think it's very encouraging this part. So he also puts his entrepreneurial skills in the ministry by rearing picks for fundraising. His legacy in USI <laughs> ministry in the state of Arunachal Pradesh and Tripura, where he told uh, fleet spread hardship for many years are manifold. We do hope his coming of the state of Manipur, uh, uh, we do hope that his coming of the state of Manipur recently as a state security will also bring about several positive developments and uh, strength for uh, our brothers and sisters in the state of uh, uh, of that state and also we are looking forward to his ministry with us tonight in prayer and anticipation so dear brothers and sisters please prepare your hearts and please welcome our special resource person reverend alfred valley yes uh, we welcome you again our uh, brother alfred and thank you before further much delay uh is sister cl mangi uh, prepared for this uh, special number now Can Sister C. L. Bangi hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, uh, if she's prepared for the uh, a special number, let us listen to a special number from Sister C. L. Bangi. <laughs> <coughs> Hello guys, thank you. Thank you for this uh, program. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me guys? Yeah. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sing a I'm not alone. Uh, for the glory of God. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sister C.L. Mangi, for those melodious voice and also a great song in which God told us, uh, in which that uh, which says about we are not alone. So we thank Sister Mangi once again for that melodious song. And also before uh, further much delay, let us give our time to our uh, resource person, tonight, Brother Alfred. So uh, we hand mm -hmm. over the time to Brother Alfred. Okay. Thank you so much for this privilege. We'll go straight away. Yes, we'll start. So today that uh, scripture portion is taken from First Thessalonians chapter one. We will study together. First Thessalonians chapter one. Some one can read verse two to four. And as today we will divide with three parts, verses 2 to 4, 1, and verses 5 to 7, 1. Verses 5 to 7, 1, someone can read, and verses 8 to 10, someone can read. So first, someone can read, just one, four. Can someone read? Uh, First Thessalonians 1 to 4. 1 yes. 1 to 4. Paul, Silas, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. Thanksgiving for the Thessalonians' faith. We always thank God for all, the, for all of you and continually mention you in our prayers. We remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that he has chosen you. Thank you. Verse, verses 5 to 7. Oh, hello. Uh, <clears throat> uh, verses yes. 5 to 7. Uh, for our gospel did not come to you, uh, to you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Spirit, and in much assurance, as you know what kind of men we were among you for your sake. And you become followers of us and of, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you become examples to all in Macedonia and Achaia who believe. Okay, thank you. Seven to eight to ten. Eight to ten. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth not only in the Macedonia and in Achia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that you have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declared about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivered us from the coming wrath. 
Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we come before your throne of grace this evening. Lord, we praise you and also we want to thank you for your faithfulness, your protection throughout the day, and also, Lord, you love for us and also you care for us. Thank you so much. Now, as we, as a family of UESI uh, Mizoram, as we study together this uh, first Thessalonians chapter one, Lord, pray that you will speak to us, help me to share and also help each of us to discuss um, with understanding. So Lord, we commit our time as we study together and bless our time, bless our fellowship. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So now this, I uh, think I really want to thank for today's uh, host leader. I think he said many things about me. Uh, seems like a little bit exaggerating. <laughs> but anyway, thank God. And I, I do not know from all this information from where he got, but I appreciate and I, I'm also proud of that. So just quickly, we'll go ahead. The, uh, I'll just give, I think most of you know about this uh, Thessalonians. Let me just give some introduction, uh, like uh, how both Silas and Timothy work together. Can you hear me? Can someone, the leader can open and just can uh, just respond so that I can, I will know that you are listening or you you will, you can hear my voice. Yeah, 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 brother. Yeah, we, we can hear okay. it. Okay, yeah. so Paul, Paul was the founder of the Thessalonian church. He ministered there a few weeks, not a few years. But he works only a few weeks, according to the Acts 17, verses 1 to 15, when we read, uh, Paul went to Thessalonians, and he works only for a few weeks, maybe three weeks, 21 days, they say. But the Lord did a great work, and the goodness of the church was known far and wide. So the Lord, the Lord did a great work for the Savior, and the church of uh, witness of the church was known everywhere, far and wide. That's what uh, uh, the commentary and says, and also that I believe that uh, even Acts chapter seventeen, verse one to fifteen, when we read, it's written clearly. And then Paul had to leave the city because it was not able to return. He left the city and he cannot return anymore because of some difficulty. So he sent Timothy, uh, a spiritual son, to see how things were going. Paul wrote the first letter from Corinth, Acts chapter 18, verse 5, when we read, in response to Timothy's report, uh, he wanted to encourage the saints in their Christian work and assure them of his love and concern. So when he received the report from Timothy. He was so excited and he was so happy that, that the faith that they have and that they are so, they become so strong, the Thessalonians believers. So that's what Paul uh, wrote the letters after receiving the from Timothy. The second letter was written a few months later to encourage the church to be fast in the midst of persecution. Some of us thought the peace of the Lord had come because of the persecution. So Paul deal with that theme as well. Both letters emphasize the coming of Christ and the practical effect it should have in our life. So second letter was uh, Paul encouraged and the people were confused. During that time, Paul wrote these letters to the Thessalonians because of this persecution. Now, just an introduction. Uh, uh, this is introduction. Paul received a report from Timothy, and Paul, when Timothy was uh, 
giving the good report, positive report, Paul was so happy and he was excited. That's what Paul was in when we read these verses two to four. Paul was thanking God for their life. I think one just one question that are others thankful to thankful to God for me? That's one question comes then before we go ahead with this. Paul was thankful to God for the life of Thessalonians believers. Number one is what? It's clearly written here. Um, you can stop me any, any time and then we, we can discuss together. Just introduction. He thanked God for the life of Thessalonians believer, especially for num verse 3. Paul says, we continually remember before our God and fathers your work pro produced by faith. Your work produced by faith. Your label prompted by love and your endurance inspired by hope. So these three things, they have a great faith, Thessalonians believers. They have a great love. They, they love and also they have the hope that if Jesus returned tonight, I'll go to heaven. That is their hope. So the first is they have a great faith. I Means they have faith in God. They also faith they trust one another. The second point is they love. They love the Lord. First they love the Lord and they love each other and they love even Apostle Paul. So when he was in prison, Thessalonian believers they have sent even some plot, even some. Uh, even my money, uh, according to his needs, that's what a boss boy was appreciated, and he is thankful to God for their lives. So, mainly, he heard about the reports from Timothy is they have a great faith, love each other, and they have a great hope. Maybe persecution, maybe difficulty, but they stand firm, they stand firm in the Lord. That's what. They received the report. So Paul was so thankful to God for their life. So verses 2 to 4 talks about this. Paul, Paul personal reflection, the way the Lord is was doing. Today I have a I have a um, lots of message from our history, they call it historic uh, uh, members last 20 years back, 2000, 1989 and 2000, convert from uh, Arunachar, our friends. Friends from Arunachar, we are recollecting or reconnecting the uh, friendship again, those who are, uh, when we were together in 1989, 88, 89 and 2000. So when we come, more than 30, 40 people were there, my friends, and they, everyone is coming together in WhatsApp. And I feel so joyful. I, I'm, I was, uh, I feel emotional also because I remember it's a great, sweet memories with our, my friends in Arunachar. So today, this evening also, we are calling each other and we really enjoy. And I am so happy with our people in uh, Arunachar that some are uh, become uh, missionaries, some become a uh, full-time uh, pastor, some become a good official, big official, some become a uh, MLA. So I feel so happy that more than 30, 40 we are together right now. Uh, that is called, we call it... Um, Operation Reclamation. So Operation Reclamation are all members. So we are reconnecting now. So I'm so happy. So maybe I'm also same thing that Apostle Paul was so happy and thankful to God for the life of Thessalonians believers. I'm also today, I'm really thankful to God for the lives of those uh, Arunajar friends who are working faithfully for the Lord. So let us go ahead with the verse. Uh, anything that we need to discuss with this is verses two to four.
if there is no one, Thessalonian church become a exemplary church, example, a good example to the uh, far and wide. That's what in the beginning says. And they are very energetic, energetic church. That's what some commentaries also says. So I may agree with that because when we read verses uh, five to seven, we will we will see. Oh, eight to ten, we will see that. Now, uh, verses five to five to ten. So the first is number one is thanksgiving, thanksgiving for the lives of thank thanksgiving, thanking God for the lives of Thessalonians believers. The second point is, I want to bring this up, God's power, God's power, verses 5 to 7, talks about, because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit, and with deep conviction. You know how we live among you for your sake. You became imitators of us and of the Lord. In spite of severe suffering, you welcome the message with joy given by the Holy Spirit. And so you became a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. Achaia. So the word, the word, The gospel came not, not with simply, but with great powers. So they accept that the word, the Thessalonian, Thessalonians believers, they love to listen to the word and they grabbed it and they, they take it as a God's words and they took the words and they listen and they obey that is the that is the word and they don't the word they say the word this time this generation we don't want to listen god's word even difficult to even our eu in Asia, we are difficult to spend time even quiet time the easiest things to do is quiet time but most difficult things to practice is quiet time again but thessalonians they love to listen to words and they walk according to according to that i don't think they may be able to read the uh, bible also those days but they just listen from paul and silent timothy and uh, they listen and they according to that they walk and they follow so they have the deep conviction comes because the word comes with not simply but with power the holy spirit was with them and then they have the deep conviction. They have the deep conviction. Where the suffering or where the difficulty, they continue to commit their life to the Lord. And deep conviction, you know that among you, for your sake, you become imitators of us and also the Lord. So uh, Thessalonian believers, they imitate, imitate Apostle Paul and also to the Lord. That's what the uh, verse uh, 6 say to the Lord, in spite of uh, difficulty, in spite of your difficulties, you welcome the message with joy. With us, you know, we love to listen and they will come with the, the word. So we receive the word of God with joy. That's what they say. Given by the Holy Spirit. So they love to listen and they uh, they become the mediators of us and also to the Lord. And verse 7, and so you became a model. Model means, I think, this is a very uh, most important thing that become a model in uh, to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. So Thessalonian believers church are the most, most energetic church and also most of uh, it was an exemplary church uh, and then that is called power god's power so in their life god's power so in the 
lives of Testament believers. Verse 7. Now verse 8. Verse 8 to 10 talks about, uh, talks about uh, testimony, about their testimony. So let us see with that. The Lord's message rung out from you. The Lord's message, the Lord's message rung out from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it. For they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. And so wait for his son from heaven. From he raised from the dead. Jesus who rescue us from the coming wrath. So verse 8 to 10 talks about the, their testimony. They have the great testimony and they, because of their great testimony, Apostle Paul said, I don't need to tell about, about I don't need to tell, I don't need to share the things because your, your, uh, your faith in God has become known everywhere, not only Macedonia and Achaia, but also in everywhere. Therefore, that's what. Um, therefore, we do not need to say anything about it. For they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. So they, they also they uh, everywhere Macedonia and Achaia and everywhere they know they heard about the how they turn uh, to God from idols worship. So they, everyone knows about these things. They are faith in God. And finally, finally, brother and sister, pray for us. The word of the Lord may be and glorified everywhere, just as it is, it is among you just as it is among you. So in conclusion, before conclusion, I want to ask you two questions. Two questions here as we study the word of God. Just you can note down if you can. What are the evidences? What are the evidences that God has worked in the lives of the Thessalonians believer? What are the evidences that God has worked in the lives of the Thessalonians believers? Number two, question number two, only two questions make today to discuss together. What specific areas of your relationship with people and with God? What specific area of your relationship with people and with God are you able to describe with work of faith, labor of love, and steadfastness of hope? Endurance, that is, endurance inspired hope. So, what specific area of your relationship with people and with God are you able to describe with work of faith, labor of love, and steadfastness of hope. So these two questions we will discuss together. Other evidence that God's work in the lives of the Thessalonians believers or in the lives of us as the EU and EGF in application. Can I repeat the question? Yes. Ah. Can, Can you I repeat, repeat the question? The question again, what are the evidences? What are the evidences 
that God has worked in the lives of the Thessalonians believers. In the lives of Thessalonians believers. What are the evidences that God has worked in the lives of the mm -hmm. Thessalonians believers? Number, question number two, what specific area of your relationship with people and God, relationship with people and with God, are you able to describe with work of faith, labor of love, and steadfastness of hope? Kindly repeat the second one again, brother. What specific, what specific area of your, what specific area of your relationship with people and with God? First off, are you able to describe, are you able to describe with Work of faith, labor of love, and steadfastness of hope. Verse four, or oh, verse three. Verse three. Are you able to describe with work of faith, labor of love, and steadfastness of hope? I saw Sister Amuli. Moon. Yes, Brother Alfred. Hi. Hi, nice to nice to see your name. <laughs> <laughs> A long time. I know. Good. My net will go bad. Oh. Uh, then, okay, brother, let me yeah. try to uh, share. Yes. 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 Uh, first of all, thank you so much, brother Alfred, uh, for the wonderful yeah. Bible study. And the uh, questions are also uh, taught to be uh, to be pondered upon. The first question, what are the evidences that uh, God has worked in the lives of the Thessalonian believers? Uh, the question uh. itself is very important. Uh, uh, when God works in our life, uh, mm. it shows, and there is mm. evidence, and people knows that, and they see see that. So not only did the people of Th uh, Thessalonian uh, notice the believers in their town, but uh, their uh, church founders, uh, Paul and Timothy, and others, uh, they heard good news, and they saw the evidence in the lives of the believers. So. Yes. What really strikes uh, what uh, uh, me in this particular passage is that they were imitators. The believers were imitators of their uh, of Paul and and that of the Lord, and they mm. uh, became an example, uh, you know, yes. all the others. So I yes. think uh, that is uh, that is how we know that God is working in their lives. And uh, yeah. the word being a, an example itself is it talks volumes, it talks of uh, uh, many things. Uh, so mm. uh, they have set a very good example. So that means that uh, God has truly worked in their lives and they have allowed God to work in their lives. So, uh, yeah, mm. that part I would like to share. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sister uh, Lampui. Yes.
that's a good point that you have shared. And any other more? Number one, question number one. Yes, brother, thank you so much. Uh, yes, uh, as Sister Lampui had pointed out uh, about the, being the role model, I believe that is a very important area. And also okay. another is like uh, in verse six, uh, in the midst of severe suffering, they yes. still welcome the message yes. of God. That's and also right. the joy given by the Holy Spirit was filling them. I believe those were also very good uh, evidences. Yeah. That God That's right. Yes. Yes. Any other more? Uh, I think that uh, the first three point out the answer correctly as they have their faith, love, and patience of hope in, to okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yes. Any other more? Question number one. Um, uh, excuse me. In, in addition to what the sisters are saying, mm -hmm. I would like to add one point. In verse eight, the Lord's yes. message rang out from you, not yes. only in Macedonia and Achaia, your faith in God has become known everywhere. I no, think no, the wait. faith of God their faith in God is another evidence. Thank you. Yes, that's true. Their testimony is so strong. Huh? Uh, their testimony. Yes. Another point that evidence is that uh, verse, verse 5, that the Holy Spirit with and with deep conviction so that is also another uh, evidence that Jack, pen hold shot. Where is my pen? Uh, yes, brother Alfred. I think his net is not working properly. But can we just continue with the discussion? Uh, you know, uh, with question number two, uh, what specific area of your relationship with people and with God are you able to describe with the work of faith, labor of love and yeah. endurance of hope? So uh, here, yeah. Um, I think uh, verse 9 uh, says uh, yes. many things about this question number 2. Uh, it says that uh, uh, the, the believers uh, outside Macedonia uh, that uh, uh, in Achaia, so these uh, the be uh, believers from everywhere else, they have reported the kind of reception uh, that they hold among the, uh, them, uh, for them. So that is purely the act of labor and uh, a labor of love. So, yeah. you know, uh, welcoming people and the, uh, the, th uh, the uh, thing that USI is famous for is their open homes. So I think that is uh, a true labor of love. And, yeah. uh, you know, I uh, highly appreciate and I, I uh, this, um, our staff workers, uh, uh, Brother Philip, Sister Salome, yes. you know, they are always, 
uh, or welcoming us with uh, you know big heart. Not only that, and yes. always a very sweet reception with uh, a homemade yes. uh, food and all. And, you know, yes. they always make sure that we are comfortable. And even when they visit us, also they visit us. Have that. So I think uh, that's a very good example that this, the kind of reception that we held among uh, believers. So uh, that's a very good example of uh, labor of love. Yes. And uh, it says here, and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God. And uh, you know, that is the work of faith. Uh, they turn their faith from idols to the true God. So uh, this verse points out again, uh, now, when we say idols, uh, maybe we are not uh, 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 worshipping those uh, Ganesh or Shiva or anything, but uh, we might uh, be having image of ourselves or of others in our head, which we held more important than God. So I think that uh, uh, we require the work of faith here to turn towards the living and true God. and. Uh, the endurance of hope again i think we see in verse uh, 10 where uh, you know they uh, wait patiently uh, in uh, steadfastness and endurance uh, to wait for this uh, jesus to return so i think verse 9 and 10 uh, clearly explains uh, about this question yes thank you Can we also say, can you say something about the relationship with people and with God? You can also share your personal relationship with people in uh, different tribes or how you are being uh, with God, also your relationship with God. And I'm so, I'm, I really can imagine waiting for your staff is so open, so nice. Nah? <laughs> they are so good. I want to see here, where is Brother Children and Sisters? They went to the and start cooking or what? Yes, uh, I'm sure you have tasted their cooking. I don't know who cooks better, but they're Philip or Sister Salome. So every time we enjoy their uh, cooking. Oh, Brother Alfred? Uh, uh, yes, yes, your voice is cracking actually. We, uh, it's, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so I need to hear that. Appreciate your staff, Ogre. I think that is our life. Okay. Can you hear me? We can hear you, brother. Okay. So, anyone want to say something about the relationship we we got about the drumming? Now we expect Manipur region to support us in Manipur, uh, Manipur USI. <laughs> Hello. Yes, brother. You heard me, brother Philip. Yes. So we expecting from Mizoram USI to support Manipur USI since I'm new here. So <laughs> we are waiting for your response. <laughs> so anyone want happy? to say? Ah. Okay. Uh, regarding question number two, right, brother? Yes. Okay. Uh, According to according to me, uh, uh, our ministry, our U ministry is uh, 
definitely very very crucial uh, i mean this these factors uh, work of faith labor of love and endurance of hope uh, i think these are very crucial ingredients or elements in the ministry of ubsi because uh, uh, without faith in god uh, we are unable to uh, you know proceed for even one step also. And uh, of mm. course, uh, that reflects, uh, that reflects in our labor of love for the students and the graduates uh, and student to students, uh, something like that. So uh, the labor of hope is uh, enabled by the faith that we have in God. And also, mm. like uh, many times when we deal with the students or even young graduates, mm. uh, many times uh, mm. we come across situations where uh, we have to hope against all uh, odds. Uh, oh, today they may, uh, students, when we have certain expectations, since we have told them, since we have taught them this way, this time, I'm sure they will be better. And as, mm. as we hope like that, many times our hope was like, you know, just uh, going away in the air. Uh, so like mm. all our endurance, uh, we, we really need to endure through all odds. And uh, uh, yeah. that is how uh, in most of the cases we work with the students or even younger graduates. So like with people, mm. uh, the labor of love and the endurance of hope, but by having that strong faith in God, that God will work it out as we continue our part, he will do his part. So mm -hmm. like, uh, I, I believe uh, that is how best I can explain, but all these are very important ingredients uh, as we involved in the student's ministry. Thank you. Oh, it's, I think there is problem with the network. Yes. Uh, we're not able to hear you at all, oh, brother. Okay, so I will oh. switch off my uh, video. Yes, better. Yeah. Okay. We Can want you to me? see you, but yeah, we want to uh, see you, but the <laughs> internet is not permitting. Okay. So yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So one staff girl last ten years back, he says like this: "I love." He actually he left UESI. He said, "I love UESI. I love teachers. I love the student. I love our staff workers. But I hate one EGF, so I cannot. I cannot join." <laughs> so he left the UESI. What to do? Labor of love is not there. <laughs> so he he left forever, no? And some people have, uh, some people want to, are uh, waiting for the Lord to come. So one grandma, she want to die, but Jesus never come. Lord, tonight take, take, take me, let me die. Then when it comes morning, she was still alive. So Lord, why you are not taking me another day? So 
keep on praying, but the Lord never took her to heaven. So he was grumbling. But here another uh, one sick woman, bedridden, she don't want to die. She don't want to die. So people are praying for her to die, but she don't want to die. So what shall we do all this now? Okay, so that is good. Anyone want to share something? I will, we will conclude this. In conclusion, First Thessalonians ends with reference to the return of Jesus Christ and that truth is applied to daily living. Some believers are such poor example as Christian that their lives gives unbelievers an excuse for rejecting Christ. So there is also some are very poor example as Christian because of their life, unbelievers are rejecting our Christ. The church which received the gospel must work hard. We must work hard, we must uh, to pass it on. So in that way, we need to pass it on the vision. So let us this evening, last, I want to hear the last, anyone want to share the last regarding this, uh, this evening studies just anyone want to share i think time is running yes <clears throat> uh, okay thank you so much uh, brother alfred or reverend alfred so here uh, you have chosen a very relevant passage uh, leading us into a time of Bible study, which is so relevant. And I also want to uh, encourage all of us as we, <clears throat> uh, verse 2, there Paul was so thankful to God as Brother Alfred has mentioned, uh, brought, uh, you have brought out so clearly, you have brought out so clearly uh, that how Paul was so joyful, so thankful for the faith of the Thessalonian believers. And he was thankful to God. He was, in fact, uh, probably praying to God with a grateful heart about the fate of the Thessalonians. And as yes. we also know that uh, we are all praying people, praying you, EGLs and stars. And so we also know when a person who is doing well, when we remember and pray for them, we pray with joy, we pray with smile. You know, we pray. Uh, with you know that with a joyful heart so uh, likewise I want to encourage each one of us as as we continue our spiritual journey when someone prays for you or when someone remembers and prays for you and me I want them to pray with smile I want them to pray with a joyful heart that, oh, Jonathan Pauto, he will definitely be doing well. He is such a committed EU guy. Oh, you know, jo praying with joy. So let's expect uh, God and expect others when they pray for us, pray with joy when they pray for you yes. and I. And then another thing, as you and EGFs and staffs, you know, uh, there uh, now Paul was talking about then that you have become an imitators of us, imitators of me, and imitators of the Lord. So as we live, you know, uh, our life in the campus, our life in our uh, in our churches or in a house in a home, let us Paul was 
telling that we that the Thessalonian believers were imitators. They imitated Paul and God. And so as EU students, as Egypt, as staff, let us pray and hope that there will be so many people who you and I will be the role model and they will imitate you and I in our prayer life, in our relationship with the Lord and in our, you know, in our relationship with the Lord and in our, you know, meditating upon the Lord, living out the Christ-like character in our lives. Let them be, let them imitate you and I. You know, that's so important. And that should be known and that should be heard by people, not only in the, within the campuses, not only in the city, but the whole state at large or the country at large. So let us be you and I. Let, uh, let people talk about you and I and let your testimony be and my testimony be, you know, be known, be known by people at, or in the state at large. Yes. So thank you so much for this uh, opportunity. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. So close. Thank you. Anyone want to clarify or no one wants? Otherwise, we will close. Many members are here, but no one is speaking. So, Brother Rampang Zhao, Zhao also not saying. Yes, can we hear at least one or two students also? Linda also not sharing. Let me. <laughs> Mobile phone also not sharing. Where is Amur? Tayi also not sharing. Dai, HP. Where is Tungde? Tunga, Tunga, Tuangi. Where is Brother Mark? I think Tei, brother, you know Tei so well, I suppose. Yes. Fishery, Fishery, yes. Tripura. Fish yes, yes, I know. And I'm sure she will, she will have something to share also. I'm just waiting for her to share something. I want to hear her voice. I think Brother Mark was, uh, he had to visit his dentist today and I think he was. Uh, oh. Yeah, he was busy. Okay. So, if not, then we'll. I, I want to let us uh, all under three things. Three things to do. As a Thessalonian, first thank to God for the life. So our others thank to God for me. We will just uh, ponder these things. Number one, our others thankful to God for me. Is God's, number two, is God's power seen in my life? Is God's power seen in my life? The, the third one is testimony. Do I make it easier for others to talk about Jesus? So I think in EU and EGF circle, some EGFs are uh, very corrupted. They are very good in preaching and teasing, but they are involved in corruption. Especially I have heard in Arunachal, our best friend also become a very corrupted officials so very bad testimony so that kind of things i think we need to pray for them that they are blocking the way of jesus they are not preparing the way of the jesus so do i make it easier for others to talk about jesus today as we uh study this Thessalonians chapter one i am sure and hope that the lord has already spoken to you not me the word of God is not coming simply, but with power. So those who are listening, those who are willing to learn. 
surely the Lord will use you mightily and that God's kingdom will increase. That is, all, that is our purpose of uh, doing the ministry for God's kingdom. So shall we look to God and pray? Lord, we thank you for this beautiful moment that you have spoken to us through Thessalonians. And Lord, they are so faithful and are faithful one to one another. And also they love you and they love each other too. So Lord, help us to learn from them that we may also have faith in you and also trust one another as a ministry of VSI here for your kingdom. And uh, as a staff, students and graduates will work together for your glory and for your kingdom. Help us those uh, are unbelief and many a times we are not faithful, but Lord, you are so faithful in our life and we want to thank you for that. Now, as we study these things, Lord, let Thessalonians be so faithful to you and faithful to one another. Help us to be faithful to one another also, Lord. Help us to grow so that we may be able to reach as, as much as many students for your kingdom. Even that graduate, Lord, help us to help them to grow, not only supporting the finance or needs, but Lord, let them also grow in preaching and teaching and also spiritually they will also uh, as a graduate, they will give a good counseling to the students. So once again, I want to thank you for this evening. So as we continue to ponder these three things that are others thankful to God for me, for his power in my life. So Lord, continue to bless us so that others may see the power of the beauty of Jesus in our life too. Especially we made our um, the vision. Is Salome and the children, Lord, we want to thank you for their life, their hospitality, and also, Lord, they're uh, always willing to serve. Thank you so much. Continue to bless them. Even, Lord, bless all the EGF. Thank you for the life supporting the ministry. Even we also want to thank you for the students that who is willing to do and doing the ministry in the campus. So pray that you will bless all of us together as we join together so that our testimony will make the way to the Lord for the kingdom. Once again, we want to thank you for hearing and listening our prayer. We offer this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Brother Alfred. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. We still have... A Closing prayer assigned, I think so, over to yeah. Jonathan. Jonathan, yeah. yes. Uh, thank you, Brother Alfred, for the clear study of the Bible from First Thessalonians. And also, I uh, want to thank uh, Sister Siel Mangi for the melodious song that she presented. And also to all the participants on for tonight's uh, Bible study for your uh, attendance also here. And also... Uh, we are very uh, fortunate that Brother Philip and Sister Salome, our staff workers, have joined us here. And also for all the, the personals who have joined us uh, through YouTube also. I think there's a live on YouTube. Is it Brother Philip? Yeah. Yeah. And also we thank you for all the... And also we thank God for all the things that he have done. Uh, for us tonight. Uh, Brother Philip, is there anything that you wanted to say before we conclude our meeting? All right. Uh, yes, Sister Maini will be praying. So, uh, in our prayer, Sister can remember for the Training tomorrow. The spec team training starting from seven o'clock till seven in the evening tomorrow. And also remember.
Sunday uh, uh, at five o'clock, the Ripon's uh, church handing over also in, uh, in prayer. Thank you. And also, uh, before much further delay, let us give time uh, to Sister Mai and Gitu to have the prayer. Hello. 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 Uh, yes, uh, Brother Philip, can you repeat the, the prayer points? Spec training, oh, spec right. a meeting tomorrow, and what else? Oh, then Ripan, the new committee, or like the over the responsibility, the new committee, uh, the charge handing over program okay. for Ripan's you. Okay, okay. You get me. Okay, 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 thank you. Okay, let's look to God in prayer. Praise is Lord Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for your countless blessings and thank you so much for giving us a good time to have uh, Bible study once again this evening, Father. Thank you so much for the lives and the input and the resources of uh, Brother Alfred that you have blessed with, Father. Thank you for the lives that you have blessed and thank you for the guidance that you have uh, showered upon him. And Father, as uh, we have uh, studied the Word of God tonight, all those uh, participants, those who are listening, and those who took part in this uh, Bible study, help us to live our lives like the believers of Thessalonians, that we may live our lives with hope, with faith, in our everyday lives, in our walk of life, Father. And also this time, Father, I pray for the, and I want to say thank you for the use, this USI ministry. You have guided us, you have blessed us with so many things. And this point of time, I also pray that you continue to bless this ministry so that we will be able to work for the extension of your kingdom. And Father, this time I pray for uh, the planning of aspect training tomorrow. As they are planning to have um, the spec meeting from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m., I pray that you bless and you be with them uh, through their training through Zoom. Father, they are in need of a good network and they are in need of a good environment. Father, may you be with them and may you provide whatever their desires and whatever the needs that they, that they require for their meeting tomorrow. And also I pray for Ripon's EU as they are having their church uh, handing over and taking over of the church tomorrow. May you continue to be with them so that they have a successful time of uh, handing and taking over of church. That whoever is taking the new responsibilities, Father, they may be able to serve you wholeheartedly and they may be able to work uh, work with you, Father. I pray that you be with them. And as we have uh, come to the and of uh, this uh, Bible study, continue to be with this and every one of us so that we may have a good time of rest, that we will be able to see beautiful morning, that we will uh, be un good imitators uh, like uh, Paul, that our life will be seen in our lives, that people will see that your goodness and your face in our lives. And we commit the rest of our time into your loving hands. All these things I ask in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Amai, for the prayer. Yeah, that's all for tonight, guys. And also, we th thank you, everyone, for their participations tonight. Oh, it's very encouraging. Thank you so much, uh, Jonathan. You are... Uh, <clears throat> You are season, season and out of season, being available for the Lord, you know. The host just, you know, suddenly or in 11 hour and trusted, requested you and you are said, 
no problem i'm available and you uh, you uh, did a very good posting praise god and also yes brother mark in fact brother alfred was asking where is brother mark and brother mark is here and oh. yes brother mark is <laughs> okay so oh, brother i'm very sorry i just got back from the dentist okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some procedure done and it was okay, okay. extraordinary i know we had a great fine. time here and i'm very happy it's fine, it's fine. if the was here but uh, glad glad to see brother mara brother philip brother smilebird yeah. brother jonathan is a mayangi yeah. zoli Balsoma, Biema. Wow, this is wonderful. Thank you so much, brother Alfred. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, and let us show our videos. Let's show our pictures and wish, wish each other good night. So you can show your faces. Yes, brother. Okay. And thanks to your family as well. Mayangi. Hi, Sister Mulin. Good so to hear you, like friend. Me. Yeah. Oh, is it so? You are still as young as like. <laughs> That's enough, I think. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Oh, it's yeah, you do. Stay safe. Sound for you. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye, sisters. We we hope you join us again in our uh, upcoming Bible study. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the net is bad. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Brother Alfred, thanks for the Bible study. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Sister Amelin too. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, get, I ready to take, today. get ready to take our sessions to the next place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's pray, yeah. yeah. Brother Smilebirth, your background is very dark, but you are shining like gold. Thank you. Shine for Jesus even in darkness. That's the <laughs> yes. right. just like a tiger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brother, uh, <laughs> brother, brother, <laughs> brother, 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 br